say, what you wanna say, and love the words fall out. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, not me, like, singing, um, like, 2015 radio music. <laughs> um, but anyways, hi, Sun Bunnies, this is part four to the Ray Ex- Ray Ex- Trans- my listener. Um, hold on a sec, let me get one of the props real quick, like, I forgot them. Okay, I'm back, and, um, yeah. Um, but anyways, hey, um, I'm recording this on my bedroom floor, because when I record it on the bed, y'all can obviously hear, um, the wrinkling of the, the blankets, you know, when I hear it in the videos, I'm pretty sure you guys can hear it too. But anyways, that's not the point, what is the point, is, I'm here, and I'm here with another video. Like I said in the last video, shout out to I'm Committing Arson as we speak because they gave me this um, prompt and you know, it's it's pretty good. <laughs> oh my gosh, I would literally, like, they, they basically just wrote a whole entire Wattpad story for me. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, last, last part, part three, dang, <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, I, you know, I'm doing this, uh, I don't really have much else to say, um, but, you know, other than, of course, you know, Discord server is, um, pretty poor when it comes to members, and when the peop- the new members who do come, they leave because there's no other members here to talk to. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, if you want to join that, you can join that. It's in the card link, but link is below. Anyways, um, let's get into the video. Ray, can you pass me that or can, please? Uh, sure. Wow, I can't believe we're doing this. Never thought we'd escape, especially in such a flashy manner, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so, Ray, what do we do after this again? Oh my god! Ray, what are you doing? You're not supposed to pour that on yourself! <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea, Emma. <laughs> Ray, are you okay? <laughs> of course not. Oh, I'm not okay. <laughs> oh, not at all. But you know what? That's fine. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing it for the listener. He's not here. But he will be, in a sense. Go on, keep pouring the gasoline, it won't hurt. Why are you doing this to yourself, Ray? First we lose listener, now we're going to use, lose you? Not on our watch. Yeah, not while we can protect you from doing this. <laughs> you can't protect me from doing shit. Think about it. I've lived my life ever since I was six years old. Living in this way that I couldn't do anything for anybody. I couldn't protect them from their fate. And they were all my siblings. Do you know how much I loved and cared for those people? On top of that, I find somebody that I think that I can save. Not even him. They think that they can use me as food. I don't think so. Think about it. Mom raises me for 12 years, thinking that I'll be just, you know, a normal piece of food for all these demons, but no. No, I'll be one of the highest qualities of meat. And then I end up burning myself the night before we escape. 
Ah, uh, isn't it nice? You know, I know it's petty, but I have to do this. No, you don't, Ray. You know, you don't have to do this yourself. You could escape with us. <laughs> I'm not going to, Emma. I think it's time that these people know that we're not just a piece of food. We're human, damn it. Uh. Nice catch, Emma. Thanks. You know, Norman told me you were going to do this to yourself. How? When? He knows a lot. And let's just say... I wasn't going to let you do that. Not on our watch. I even have an extra spare set of clothes for you. So what I need you to do is hop in the shower, turn on the water, rinse all the gasoline out of your hair, and, you know, clean yourself up while we do the rest. We even have a replacement for you in case you, you know, you know. For you to not burn, we have a set of anise braids and a whole bunch of deli meat. not much, but it'll create a certain smell that will sound like, you know, you're the one that's burning there. I don't understand. I didn't at first either. But it's fine, because at least we prevented it, huh? Now hop in the shower. We've got a lot to do here, and... I have to evacuate everyone from the building. Hmm. Time skip, he gets them taking a shower, new clothes are put on him, and you know, he runs outside, grabs all the stuff, and um, he helps all the kids escape. Emma actually lights up the match and, you know, hugging Norman and fake crying, which she does excellently for some reason. And, um, you know, Mom comes into the room. Everything happens, really. Everything happens, like, in the show, but Norman's there. Um, and, you know, yeah. But it's a big time skip, actually, to, um, you know, where they're at the, um, safety shed. And, you know, yeah. <laughs> Ray decided to go out for a walk, and he wouldn't believe what happened next. This looks good to eat. Wait, let me check. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. Some sedias. Mm, yeah, I could bring these back. Is one of the kids outside of the shed? How'd they get outside without me noticing? Hmm. Well, whatever the case may be, let me go talk to them. Hey, you know you're not supposed to go out of the shed, right? I can see you. Wait a minute. You're not one of the kids that we took with us. What? Uh, listener? Oh my god. Thank goodness I found you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> and another thing. What the hell? You scared me to death. 
Well, no shit. You're my significant other. Of course I'd be upset if you offed yourself. What the fuck was that for? So you knew you were going to get shipped out before you could escape with us. So you decided to fake your death and escape without us? Hmm. Well, that sounds like a sound explanation. And I guess suicide was the only most rational thing you could do. But, you know... I still can't believe you had to fake your death. Or even felt like you had to fake your death. And you... Do you know how depressed I was? Finding how did you fucking died? Well, no matter. I have a whole bunch of stuff here that we could probably, you know, that I have to bring back to the other kids and stuff. I think they're gonna be very happy once they find out that I found you here. Hey, I'm back. Hey, uh, who's that? And why do they look so familiar? Oh, this guy? Yeah, he's a listener. <laughs> ah, you crack me up. Although that does look a lot like listener, and they... Wait a minute. Listener? Oh my god, I can't believe it. But why? How? I'm gonna grab everyone and you can, you know, talk with him for a bit. Uh, okay. But how are you here? I don't understand. I don't understand any of it. Please tell me everything. You faked it? We were all scared. We were all so upset. I do. Because you were going to get shipped out before you could escape with us, but. Well, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> everybody gathers around you because they finally met you again and you know everything's pretty much happy and um yeah uh you know like pretty sad but also pretty happy because they get to find you again but it's like happy tears you know what i'm saying um anyways um i'm gonna end the series off here um but, 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 if you have any ideas for a part five, you can do that, you know, put that in the comments. Also, like I said, I'm committing arson as you speak. Thank you for this. Um, and because you gave me this very detailed prompt, I'm going to, you know, as a reward, upload both of these at the same time. Yes, at the same time. So, yeah, anyways, um, I'm glad, I'm, I hope you all like this. I'm Cinnamon Bun. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not, if you're not having a good day, hopefully I made it better. If you're having, and if you're having, even if you're having a good day, I'm glad you're having a good day. Anyways, I'm Cinnamon Bun. I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.